Hey Sagittarius, happy birthday. December 18th was the winner this time around. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, so just letting you know how this is going to go. So I'm going to do three different reads in this one video so we can pick up on different groups of Sagittarius, or at least we'll try. When I did that for Scorpio, it ended up being the same story <laughs> all three times. So let's hope that doesn't happen because I know I have... Um, a lot of new subscribers. I also have a lot of, of su subscribers that are interested in Sagittarius videos, okay? So I'm really hoping to get different stories for different groups so that we can at least, like, cover more people, okay? Because it is your birthday. It's a little bonus reading for your birthday. I won't reiterate the rules of tarot. You guys know how these work, okay? <laughs> All right. So let's just get going. Let's start with this first reading. Any messages for Sagittarius? I make it very general so we can get things um, coming through that are just more about more than love. You know, maybe about finances or career or health, but more often than not, it ends up being about love. So <laughs> let's just see how it goes, okay? Any messages for Sagittarius? Also, keep in mind, I am not putting a timeline on these, so this could pertain to your past, present, or future. If it resonates, you'll know, all right? Any messages for Sagittarius? I'll do one more. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for... Oh, okay. Oh, hoo, hoo, Queen of Cups. Someone's happy and in love. Well, more in love than happy. I don't know why I just felt that. More, more in love than actually happy. Let's see. Don't let that scare you. We'll see what's up. <laughs> Any messages for my Sag Sagittarius? Any messages for my Sagittariuses? Any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five cards that came out. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be Sag or Leo. Um, <coughs> I mean, Aries or Leo, excuse me. Oh, no. It's the Aries court card, could also be Sagittarius or Leo energy. Don't know why that was hard. Could also be Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio. So this kind of energy is taking action. So Sag, this is a really good energy to have overall. <coughs> this is really productive energy, getting a lot of stuff done, or at least a lot of things started. The Queen of Wands starts a lot of stuff, but doesn't always follow through. So this is more of like a leader of like, okay, I'll get the project rolling, but you guys got to finish it. Basically, uh, this is an energy that also knows how to have a lot of fun. Okay, gets a lot of attention. Um, definitely the life of the party kind of energy. Okay. And on the board, we have Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. This is a double water card, okay? There's a lot of love, a lot of emotion right there. Someone who's really ready to receive love, okay? Now, we also have these two cards that came out. Oh, I don't like this energy. I gotta be honest. I really don't like it. Ten of Swords in Reverse with the Magician in Reverse. Magician could also be Gemini or Aquarius Energy. For me as a reader, it's Scorpio. To me, this says that someone definitely was up to something. De de so definitely someone was being manipulative. Um, it's over. Whatever this manipulative energy is, it's over. There's also another group that I'm sensing is trying to manifest here. That's also um, that lack of being able to manifest is over. Did I say that right? That sounded very Yoda-y to me. Hold on. <laughs> Whoever was having trouble man manifesting, making shit happen, that is over. <laughs> but then we got this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You have two tens on the board, both in reverse, which is a good sign. I mean, that means new beginnings are right behind the corner for you. But, you know, if you were married to somebody, this is indicative of divorce, indicative of splitting assets. Um, you don't have to be married to somebody for this card to apply to you. If you lived with someone, that is no longer all that stable. Uh, this is also indicative of somebody who just has unstable uh, family life right now. Uh, maybe you guys are bickering with your relatives. It is the holidays. That tends to happen. Just keep that in mind, okay? But then we have this Four of Pentacles in reverse, letting go. That feel This feels like really positive energy, so I'm glad we're ending the, the card lineup on a positive note, okay? Someone's really letting go of some things. Some, like, I'm getting behaviors, like bad behaviors. Not necessarily a person. It can be, but we'll look into it. But I'm just getting really strong energy of someone's letting go of bad behavior. So let's focus on this queen because she feels really nice and yummy. Okay. Clarify queen of cups. Clarify queen of cups for my saggies. Clarify queen of cups. 
Sag, I gotta be honest, I feel like this is someone in your environment. I feel like this is someone that you are connecting with, not necessarily you. Um, and remember, it could always be vice versa, as you guys know. But this feels like someone who really wants to be with you, someone who really wants to make a relationship work with you. It feels really good. Let's see who this person's all about, okay? Or what this person's all about. Clarify Queen of Cups. Clarify Queen of Cups for my Sagis. Clarify Queen of Cups. Okay. Clarify Queen of Cups. Clarify Queen of Cups. Okay, this is interesting to me. So overall energy, we have Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. There's a lot of water on this side, okay? So this is going to be whatever this, whoever's re resonating with this spread, a lot of emotion is involved in this situation, okay? And there's a revelation that this person is having. Uh, and this revelation is regarding the Three of Cups energy. I really feel like more positivity than anything off this card, and I'm going to look into this further because I feel like there's a lot here. This is about celebration and social circle and rejoicing in that. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling like there's something negative about it. I don't like feeling that way, but it's mostly positive. It's mostly positive. I'll use the vice versa deck. I love this deck. And now I've like, I've really bent out all the little stiffness, the stiffness uh, parts of, of these cards, and so now I can actually shuffle them really nicely. Okay. Clarify Three of Cups. Clarify Three of Cups for my Saggies. Oh. You'll see. Clarify three of cups for my Saggies. Clarify three of cups. Hold on a second. What do we got here? Whoa. We have a lot of cards that came out. I'm just lining them up. Oh, wow. Sag, you have someone. No, oh, you you've got a you've got a good someone. <laughs> like how do I say that? That's probably the best way to say that. You have someone who's really willing to do a lot for you. Okay. Clarify three of cups. Clarify three of cups. Clarify three of cups. Clarify three of cups. Okay, overall energy for the Three of Cups. We have the Magician, again. But this is uh, this is the good Magician. This is the Magician I like. This is someone who is making things happen, making things ma making things manifest um, around the celebration. So I really feel like, this is, all, oh, by the way, this is also Divine Masculine energy. So Sag, I feel like you have a Queen of Cups energy around you, a person that I, I believe you know exactly who I'm talking about. They want to celebrate with you, and you want to celebrate with them. This feels very mutual. You really want to bring things together with them and just rejoice and you know it is the holidays so i'm sure that's also part of it it is the holidays guys all right so we have two lines lots of cards this first line we have the three of pentacles page of cups ten of pentacles six of cups i mean did i say ten of pentacles <laughs> wow ten of cups don't know why i said ten of pentacles uh six of cups the empress and then the Five of Pentacles. So let's focus on these guys right here. All right, so this is about the whatever is being celebrated. And I gotta be honest, guys, I really feel like this is a coming together that's being celebrated, okay? You have this Three of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles basically is saying, okay, I've spent some time thinking about what I have so far and what I wanna do. I am now ready to collaborate. I'm now ready to work on something and build something with somebody. And then this Page of Cups coming in to offer emotion, making an offer of love. Um, and he's very transparent. I mean, there's like, there's really nothing special about this card. And you see these other cards, they have a lot of stuff going on in them, but this card's very plain. He's very transparent. He's, you know, bearing it all out, saying, hey, I want to offer this to you. I want to work with you. I want to build something with you. And this is the Ten of Cups, because you make me so incredibly happy. And this is the really good Ten of Cups, okay? Because um, I'm very happy with you. We can have emotional fulfillment. And you're my soulmate. We have all this history together. We have happy memories together. Let's do this. Let's, let's work on this together. Oh, it feels really good. Now these other two cards that were in that line. The Empress in this position and the Five of Pentacles in this position. These are the other sides, if you guys are curious. 
I know, it looks kind of warm and fuzzy, right? That's not the sides that you have. There's definitely been a separation between the two of you. This Empress energy. Sag, I feel like this is you. I feel like you've been on the outs with this person. You've been isolated from this person. But I don't feel like it's been all for naught. I mean, right now you have your back turned, but this is about going within. This is about trying to seek out the answers and seeking that Empress energy. And you're doing it by tapping into your own intuition, okay? And so you had to be a little bit alone or separated. And maybe at first it wasn't even something you asked for. Maybe you didn't ask to be separated from this person. It just kind of happened. But it served, it served you well so far. You're really within but in, it's tapping into your spirituality, and that's a really great thing. And I think that's also helping bringing you two together. Now, this last line. This definitely tells me that there was some sense of betrayal and trickery here, and I think it was on the part of your partner. Okay, remember, you still have these two cards coming. Um, we have the Ten of Swords, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, with the Magician in it, by the way, <laughs> and then the Four of Wands. I'll be honest, guys. This is not the good Four of Wands you want, and this is not the Ten of Swords that you want. Definitely something ended. It was unavoidable. There was an ending. However, and it was a, regarding a relationship that wasn't exactly balanced. It wasn't exactly genuine. It was based on the wrong things. This relationship is over and that is moving both of you in a forward movement, okay? And I gotta be honest, guys, I feel like this relationship, for some of you, it wasn't the relationship you had with this person. Some of these people were not the most faithful. So I think that some of you experienced having a partner that started another relationship, and that was a very fake relationship, but that is now over. Um, again, then again, there's also some betrayal there because of that. Most of you, this was the relationship you had with, with the other individual. It wasn't based on the right things. It didn't get started on the right foot. Had a really shaky foundation. Now that is over, but it's moving both of you in a positive direction in good fortune, okay? And you're celebrating that. I really feel like this is a coming together. Someone's awakened to... Hey, oh, this is being presented to me. This is amazing. Let's do this. Let's celebrate together. Let's have happy times. Now this energy. Magician in verse with Ten of Swords in verse. I've already addressed this, um, but I'm going to clarify it as a set. I've been doing that more lately, and I've been getting interesting messages off of it. Okay, I'll, I'm going to clarify both of these together. Clarify Ten of Swords in verse with the Magician in reverse. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse with the Magician in reverse. You have the Magician everywhere here, okay? That's a lot of strong energy, okay, Sad? You're dealing with someone who's very powerful. Um, not only are they spiritual, but they have abilities and they know how to use them. Just be mindful of that, okay? Clarify Magician in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Clarify Magician in Reverse with the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, a lot of you were dealing with someone who was tri uh, trickstery. Um, very trickstery. But whether they were or were not trickstery in the past, right now they're still in that Magician energy, but in the positive. They're trying to manifest this with you, okay? And their difficulty manifesting is now over. Clarify Magician in Reverse with the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Come on. But in the meantime, you're just you're getting shit done. You're being a leader. Clarify magician in reverse with the ten of swords in reverse for my Sagis. Clarify magician in reverse with the ten of swords in reverse for my Sagittarius. Okay, <laughs> keeping it simple. Overall energy: eight of cups in reverse. Oh my goodness! And right underneath that, what do we have? We have the star card, Aquarius energy. Wow, wow. Okay, so like I said, guys, these two cards represent two things. One, that the manipulation, trickstery, betrayal shit is over. And uh, the other is that manifesting can now begin. There's no more delays because someone has decided I am not leaving my wish come true. When the Eight of Cups is in reverse, it is indicating that someone can't move on. But I feel like there was already a separation here. So someone moved on and they came back. They came back to their wish come true. Okay. They've also came back after doing some healing as well. Someone's done some massive healing. Now, to clarify both of these cards, only one card came out. Two of Swords. Literally, someone just had to make the choice. Someone just had to make the choice to change. Someone had to make the choice to heal. Uh, and I really feel like this is passing energy. Um, by that, I mean 
being stuck about making a choice i feel like that is a passing energy i feel like they've made the choice they know exactly what to do and how to move forward so like i said there was a fracturing of foundation here with the ten of pentacles in reverse and that's relating to home that's relating to family um it's also like i said divorce card splitting of assets card but more so it's just at the end of the day it's a crack in the foundation of things that was that you two had built together but I'm more con I'm more curious about this Four of Pentacles in reverse, so this letting go of stuff. Let's see who's letting go and what they're letting go of. Clarify Four of Pentacles in reverse. 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 Okay. see what we got here okay clarify four of pentacles in reverse <laughs> wow Sag someone cannot leave you and I think you know you could be done with an Aquarian for sure I mean that Aquarian energy is really strong with the magician and you have the star card that's intense Aquarian energy um whew. <laughs> someone is like I can't let them go I can't let them go but there's a letting go over here at the four of pentacles so Clarify Four of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify Four of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay, so overall energy, we have the Page of Cups. Again, an apology. So we already had the Page of Cups come up once. So this is a double confirmation. Someone can't let go. And so in order, I mean, someone just let go. And so to help them even let go of even more stuff, they need to apologize. They want to apologize for something. Okay, so... We have two lines that came out. The first line, we have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, King of Swords in reverse, again, Aquarian energy. Aquarius is all over the board here, I'm just saying. They don't have to be an Aquarian, but they could be harnessing Aquarian energy. So Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy could also be a Libra or Gemini. It's a double air card. A lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking. And then we have, again, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, double confirming the letting go. Um... When the King of Swords is in this position, I get a little worried. That's my Narcissist card when it's in that position. It's someone who's very emotionally unavailable, someone who's actually not even talking or communicating really all that much to you, which I'm not surprised. Like I said, I felt like there was a separation here and there's a coming together happening. Um, but it's also somebody who can be very manipulative and who's very selfish. All right. But they're coming out of hermit mode. So they did do some reflection. They did do some healing. Remember, like I said. They've done some healing, they've done the soul searching, and I, I almost feel like they're letting go of their selfish tendencies. They're letting go of narcissistic tendencies, um, which is really good. I mean, that's like, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, yeah, they're letting go of narcissistic tendencies. Now, the last two cards to clarify, four of pentacles in reverse. So the six of swords in reverse with nine of pentacles, my pre-empress card. They see you, they see your independence, they see your abundance, and they can't leave you. They cannot leave you. Um, they can't leave you. Even though they left you once already, it's like they, they need you in their life. They absolutely need you, Saji. Wow, that's intense. Um, we'll get Romance Angels and we'll move on to the next read, okay? Any messages for my Saggies in love regarding this spread? Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? This is all about love. <laughs> <laughs> totally all about love. Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Mm -hmm. Woo! Yep, manifesting. Manifesting. Whoever you are dealing with. Oh, wow. Good. That's so good. They're really trying hard to manifest. We have two cards out. They're also really releasing a lot of energy like with those four pentacles, the double confirmation of that. Um, letting go of selfish tendencies, old ways. Any messages for my Saggies regarding the spread? Any messages regarding the spread for my Saggies? Okay. All right, so overall energy we have... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know who I said sorry to. <laughs> that was funny. really don't know who I said sorry to. I messed up a deck and I felt the need to apologize. Anyway, overall energy for yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Sagis, you've done that. 
I really feel like this is more so for the person who wants to desperately be with you. They really need to free themselves of their ego. That's exactly what this is. They really need to free themselves of their ego to real to have this with you. This is, I guess, really more for the cross watchers as opposed to the Sag, but oh well, it's helpful. These are two cards that came out. Release your ex and calling in your soulmate. All right, so this is definitely what your partner's doing or the person that's trying to get you is doing. They're releasing all their old energy, all the negative stuff that doesn't serve them anymore. They're trying to release all that nonsense, okay? Um, and they're also manifesting. They're trying to call you in. They're trying to get you to come their way. Um, like I said, they had blocks in their manifestation abilities, and that is ending with that Ten of Swords energy. Wow, so they're coming. They're coming. Be prepared. If you're married, it's just cementing that they're not leaving your ass. <laughs> they can't leave your ass they love you way too much um so just know that if you're married or you live with this person there probably was talk of a separation or beginnings of divorce proceedings but they love you and need you they can't they can't actually live without you they can't live without you it's really sweet actually <laughs> really really sweet all right so let's get into the next spread get all these cleared off off the board i don't know why but my guides are actually asking me to use the Psychic Tarot deck to start instead of my regular process. I don't know why, but we'll see. That should also provide different messages too, so maybe that's why they're asking me to do it. So let's just do it using the Psychic Tarot deck, okay? All right. New reading. New reading for a new group of Sag. Any messages for my Sagittariuses? Any messages for my Sagittariuses? Oh, you still use tarot cards to clarify each card. We'll see what comes up, okay? Any messages from my Sagittariuses? One more. Any messages from my Sagittariuses? It's a big ass deck. <laughs> Any messages from my Sagittariuses? Any messages from my Sagittariuses? We have one card out. Wow. Well, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> we have firm foundation. That's equivalent to the four of wands. Mm. Mm. Any messages for my Saggies? Yeah, these are going to be all about love. Who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, wow. We saw this one in the last reading. Any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? That one came out with a vengeance. Any messages for my Saggies? Alright, keeping it simple. Overall energy, we have waiting game, okay? So, oh, very interesting. So this is equivalent to the Two of Pentacles. Um, whoever's going to resonate with this reading... There's there's a weird balancing act going on here. It it just feels it feels very stressful and chaotic, whatever balancing act you're doing or juggling that you're you're doing right now. It's like, okay, I just gotta do this one more time, and then I can do this, and then I just go to the weekend and I'll do this, and then I'll do that. It's like almost like running back and forth, running back and forth, trying to get something done. But it's labeled the waiting game. So it's like you're doing this in anticipate in anticipation for something. Um Yeah, you're doing this in anticipation for something. So I'll probably clarify that, but I want to show you the other cards first. So we have Firm Foundation, equivalent to the Four of Wands in the typical tarot deck. These aren't, these aren't exactly equivalent to that. I mean, they have different messages, but they also have traditional messages as well. Okay? It's, it's a very awesome, awesome deck. So Four of Wands, Firm Foundation. Yeah, it's almost like, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a message, I have to say it. It's almost like someone is doing a lot of chaotic back and forth, back and forth, juggle, juggle, balance, 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 in order to get through an obstacle for this foundation, for the creation of this foundation. It's almost like you're doing this in anticipation of getting a really big reward in the end. Like, you're doing all this chaotic work, and you're going to climb that mountain, and you're going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Someone's telling themselves that. I'm going to get it right. Maybe they didn't get it right before. I don't know. Just saying. So then we also have uh, moving on in reverse. Six. This is equivalent to the Six of Swords in reverse. This came out in the last reading. Unable to move on. Okay, struggling to move on. Um, struggling to plan. Struggling to plan. 
also moving forward someone struggling to move forward someone struggling to put it's almost like someone struggling to put on that like finish finishing planning of the details in order to finish something to accomplish that last little hurdle to get what they want and then we have spiritual strength <clears throat> excuse me this is equivalent to the nine of pentacles self-love as well a lot oh there's a lot of self-love coming off this card someone's trying really hard to stay strong i almost feel like Oh, this is kind of sad. Okay, so this is just one message. It doesn't mean it's applying to all of my Saggies who are resonating with this. This could just be for one or two of you. You're needing this self-love in the end because someone, I feel like it's you, Sag, so I just got to be honest, is doing so much juggling and trying so hard to, to kind of maintain a firm foundation with somebody because they know someone's going to leave. And they know that they're not, and that's what's keeping this other person unable to move on because this person, the other person trying so hard to just keep everything afloat, keep juggling, keep juggling, keep juggling, keep balancing, keep balancing so we can keep this foundation firm. But it's so much work. It's too much work. It's almost like it's taking too much work to make that happen. And they're doing that to keep somebody from moving on. Um, but at the end of the day, they're looking for self-love, which is exactly what someone like that needs to do. Oh. That, that doesn't feel good. So like I said, that's only for a couple of you. But let's really dive into this reading, okay? Um, <coughs> I want to look into this overall energy of the waiting game. <clears throat> it's only about the waiting game for my Saggies. Tell me about the waiting game. Saggy, if you if the shoe's on the other foot and you know that you're kind of done with somebody, but they, they're trying to keep you in it, don't do that. Just Just... Just end it. Just end it. It's not fair to either of you, okay? Clarify the waiting game. Come on. Clarify the waiting game. Clarify the waiting game. Yeah, it's like someone's running around like a chicken with their head cut off, but it's like they can't escape the inevitable. That's an hourglass right there. You can't escape the inevitable. Stop wasting your time. <coughs> Clarify the waiting game. Clarify the waiting game. Oh, that's way too many. Clarify the waiting game. Yeah, moving on. Clarify the waiting game. Wow. Okay. So that message that I had for the one or two Saggies is, is starting to come through. So overall energy, we have the sun in reverse for this waiting game. Someone's so unhappy. Someone is so unhappy and so exhausted with what they're doing with this juggling or balancing. They're tired. They're tired and they're not even happy about it. It's like they keep thinking, if I just keep doing this, if I just keep doing this, if I just keep doing it, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. But the, it's... Ah. I'm just frustrated because I just feel like this person doesn't realize that they, they don't see. They don't see the reality. This is what's clarifying it. The Eight of Cups with Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarius. This is about moving on. I got to be honest. It's moving on. It's moving towards whatever makes this person truly happy. And Sag, I, you know, I got to be honest. It's like this. I feel like this person's moving on from you. It could be vice versa where you're moving on from somebody towards you're happy. But like someone's trying to leave the Sag here. Okay. Um, it's also, uh, there's, there's also a need for some restriction for some, for some reason. Um, boundary, boundaries. Oh, boundaries. Ooh, someone doesn't have boundaries. Um, I think it's whoever's doing this, this crazy juggle, this crazy keep this afloat act. Um, in an attempt to keep this person in the relationship. Oh, this is a bummer. Okay, let's move on to the four of wands. I think we're gonna. There's gonna be a lot that comes off of this. Clarify firm foundation. 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 <coughs> Clarify firm foundation. Oh, 
sounds like this. <clears throat> Clarify Firm Foundation. I am gonna have to stitch this video together. We're at 30 minutes and I still have one more spread to do, so it's probably gonna be an hour. So just let you know, if it cuts and then starts at a weird place again, I had to stitch the videos together. Clarify Firm Foundation. Ooh. <laughs> Clarify Firm Foundation. Clarify Firm Foundation. There's a lot of cards, guys. There's a there's a lot going on here with this four of wands, this commitment, this foundation that someone's stru struggling to keep afloat. Oh, yeah, this is not good. Okay. Wow. So overall energy, we have three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so someone's not working. There's not, there's no balanced teamwork here. And that's why someone's running around the chicken like, like a chicken with their head cut off because they're not getting uh, the collaboration from their partner to keep this afloat. Yeah, someone's trying really hard to keep somebody stuck. Definitely trying hard to keep somebody stuck. So like I said, a lot of cards. So I'll show them to you all by one by one and then we'll get into it, okay? So this first line, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. This is your partner, guys. This is your house of partnership. Could also be Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, a missed opportunity. Page of Pentacles in reverse, laziness. Nine of Pentacles, independence. And singlehood, bachelorhood, bachelorettehood. Yeah, someone wants to be single. Someone really wants to be single. And then we have the the a second line. <laughs> a, la, 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 a second line. Page of Cups in reverse. Water energy and earth energy. Two of Cups. Soulmates. Mm. Justice in reverse. Libra energy. Oh, yeah, this is not good. So someone's not working. Someone's not helping out while the other person's literally doing everything. Um, and this just says to me, I know there's a lot of cards to look at. So just, you know. Don't get ahead of me. This is my drama card. This is intense drama. When it's in reverse, it's even uh, really hostile communication. There's going to be an argument. I, f I really feel like there's arguing coming in on this card. There's heated, heated words being said, and it's going to lead to heartbreak. It's leading to heartbreak and a missed opportunity with you two. Um, this card is interesting. This is saying to me that someone is really stingy. Not only are they lazy, but they're really stingy with, uh, with their resources and their time. Oh, their time. Oh, they are really stingy with their time. They don't want to give any more of their time or any more of themselves to the situation. They want to be single. They want to be a bachelor or a bachelorette. They want to be away from this situation. Oh, Sag, I'm sorry. Uh, and I, I gotta be honest. I feel like it's your partner because it's coming in with the Gemini card. Um, that your partner really wants to get away and then we have this last line this is total injustice okay this is so this is a wrongdoing to somebody and i feel like there's a wrongdoing to you where they didn't give any emotion to this connection they're not getting at least if they did they're not giving it anymore they're not giving any love they're not giving any effort nothing and this needs to be balanced out karmically but that's why the other person is seriously running around like a chicken with their head cut off because <laughs> they're trying to keep the the other person trapped even though someone really, you know, really, really wants to leave. All right, so let's look at this in reverse, the moving on in reverse. I feel like I already know what it's going to say, but let's look at it anyway. Oh, let's use Gilded Tarot. Clarify moving on in reverse. 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 Also, I'm going to try to do a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine reading today, a Twin Flame update. I haven't done one in a while, and there's been some shifts. And we are in that portal, so I, I want, to, want to make sure I get it done before the 21st. Yeah, I'll just do it after this. <laughs> Clarify moving on in reverse. Clarify moving on in reverse. Clarify moving on in reverse. Oh, yeah. Clarify moving on in reverse for my Saggies. Oh, also, I meant to say this in the beginning of the video. If someone could timestamp the three readings, that'd be really awesome. If not, I can do it. 
No worries. Clarify moving on in reverse. Clarify moving on in reverse. Clarify moving on in reverse. Okay. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, someone's doing a hell of a lot of work. While the other person's just like trying to figure out how to escape. It's really sad. Overall energy, we have five of cups. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I was going to say, I'm surprised I don't see the Nine of Swords, and it is down here as a clarifier. Because I feel major, major sadness off of this card. I feel heartbreak. I feel frustration. I feel borderline depression. Some of you are depressed. Um, there's, oh, there's a lot of crying. There's a lot of crying over the loss of somebody or something. I feel like it's a loss of a relationship, and of course, loss of a person as a result of that. So we have six cards that came out. The first line, really interesting. Two of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. What did I say? Someone is juggling. This is the over energy you have is the Two of Pentacles in this reading. Juggling, trying to keep things afloat, trying to do all the work. All the work in collaboration by themselves. Solo. This is practically the same person. I'm going to juggle. I'll keep things balanced. Okay, I'll do the work too. I'll do the building. I'll do the support. I'll do it all. I'll do it all. I'll do it all just to keep you here. Sorry, just like that's how panicky this person is. And again, Sag, I, like I said, I feel like it's you, but it could always be vice versa. Sorry, just getting all resituated. Didn't realize my boob was out. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Now we have Nine of Swords in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. You guys know when this is, card comes on this position, it's my bad news card. Three of Swords in reverse, which is good. I'm really glad to see this. This already tells me that someone's already trying to heal or wanting to heal. Then we have the Moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be can Cancer for me as a reader. So like I said, someone's gotten this bad news and it's put them in a depression borderline depression a lot of sadness for the person who's being left the person who realizes shit this person wants to leave me um it's also withholding information this person knows this person wants to leave okay let me put it this way if the person hasn't left yet whoever's been doing all the work like you know i'll just call them the chicken because it's like i just can't say that phrase over and over um whoever's been doing all that work the chicken um even if they know the person wants to leave, they're keeping it to themselves with this card in reverse as well. They're not telling anybody. They want to keep this to themselves because they think they can, if they just keep doing it, if I just keep doing it, if I just keep doing it, they'll stay. Oh, and we have these two cards. This is a realization, a realization that I need to heal. I need to heal and I need to put the love back into myself work it back into myself and not give myself to anybody for a while and that's a good re revelation to have I feel like it's going to come more towards like the full moon because the full moon is going to bring a lot a lot of revelations it's going to basically tell on people as well it's the full moon is going to be in cancer on the 22nd you'll feel it on the 21st maybe even the 20th if you have a lot of water in your chart um, or if you're a cross watcher and your water sign you're going to feel it before the 21st hits I'm already feeling it a little bit um, but you know I'm a little sensitive um, but with that full moon, that's gonna, that revelation's gonna come, and more secrets are gonna come out that's gonna help you heal. Whoever's, whoever's the one that wants to keep the person in, in the relationship, that's gonna allow them to heal, and that's, that's really good. That's a really good thing. And then we have the spiritual strength card, like I said, equivalent to the Nine of Pentacles. Self-love, and that's gonna come through spirituality and strength, and even being a little bit of a hermit, kind of being alone a little bit, um, alone with your thoughts, alone with your guides, um, doing that work of self-love, that work of healing, that's going to bring in your confidence. That's going to bring in your independence and it's going to stem from your spirituality. Like you see, I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to focus. But like you see, he's standing there almost in contemplation or meditation. And then he has, to me, I feel like it's a guide or, or a deity that's standing behind him, holding the burdens for him, helping him take on the burdens to heal. Okay. That's what's going to happen. That's what needs to happen. I'll use witches to to clarify. And then we'll move on to another spread. Clarify spiritual strength. Actually, I'll pull one advice card. Um, oh, I might use my spirit animal oracle card. I love that deck. Um, I don't get to use it often. I'm trying to figure out different readings I could incorporate it in. Definitely pick a card readings for sure. Clarify spiritual strength for my Saggies. And then we'll do the last reading, okay? Clarify spiritual strength for my Saggies. Clarify spiritual strength. For my Saggies.
clarify spiritual strength for my Saggies. Clarify spiritual strength for my Saggies. Okay. Whoa. All right. Then we got more clarifying to do. We just got a really intense card. So overall energy, the tower, Scorpio energy. I got to be honest, guys. I feel like this is just going to be the person leaving. We'll clarify it to make sure. Um, but definitely there's a tower moment that's coming down that's sending you into this almost hermit-like four of swords, nine of pentacles energy of being alone, finding the self-love, finding the the abundance, the independence, the confidence. You got to do that on your own though. And you're going to be in isolation for a little bit of it. And you're going to be helping, not helping, sorry. You're going to be asking for help from your guides. Okay. Another four cards to clarify it. We have queen of wands, Aries energy, could also be Leo or Sag or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Then we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands, and then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So there's some interesting stuff going on here. Okay, so someone is taking, I feel like this is you. You're taking on a Queen of Wands energy, Sag, or whoever's, you know, the one who's going to be hurt in all of this. Um, taking action. Literally, like I said, it's like, okay, I, I need to fix myself first. I need to give myself some love. I need to take action in doing this. I need to be productive. I need to figure out how to get this started, okay? Because you realize you wasted your time in trying to do all the work and investing in this person when this person was just trying to get away. And you're going to have that forward movement. You might even talk to this person about it to get some closure of like, hey, I did all this work and I want some recognition. You are There is a little bit of that. Um, because... Sorry, I was hearing weird noise. It's just my candle. <laughs> because without that closure, without that talk, you have a lot of lack of clarity. Um, this is also indicative of spirituality and needing to tap into spirit, needing to tap into your guides, needing to tap into your intuition to gain your, your own truth about the situation. But you are going to have forward movement, and it's going to be through gaining your confidence and independence through your spirituality. Okay, now let's look at this tower moment, and then we'll wrap it up, because it's like, I gotta know. I gotta know, and I know you guys want to know. <laughs> Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for my Saggies. Clarify the tower for my Saggies. Clarify the tower for my Saggies. Ooh, yeah, ending. Clarify the tower for my Saggies. Clarify the tower for my Saggies. It's so weird. I never heard my candle make noises like that. It's like it's talking to me. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. And actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm mentioning it in this reading. I wasn't going to mention it at all. But this morning, um, I definitely had a, a Claire Audio um, event. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Event. And I heard, I heard a woman, like, not screaming, but like, you know, like when you're in such severe pain, it's like, you, it, it's not even crying at that point. It's just like, you're just making all these noises and it, like, it can sound almost like shrieking. It's like, cause it's that much pain. I was definitely sensing that this morning, but, um, I couldn't get anything else off of it. I don't know why I'm mentioning it now because I'm feeling compelled to. So maybe that is going to help some of my sagis or maybe that pertains to the situation here. It's a lot of pain, whatever it was that I was sensing this morning. Okay, so overall energy for this tower, letting go of burden. So this is going to be a good tower moment. It's going to hurt like hell. I am not going to lie to you. It's going to hurt like hell, but it's it's going to make you feel so good because you're like, oh my God, I can finally stop. I can finally stop running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, I can finally let this shit go and it's going to feel, that part's going to feel really good. However, clarifying it, it's the Ten of Swords. I mean, it's an ending, an ending to a relationship. You are losing this person. There is a sense of betrayal here because you have been putting in so much work trying to keep this person, even though they don't want to be in the relationship anymore. And I'm sorry, I know that's really sad and unfortunate, but it's good that this is ending. It's really, really good. Okay. Oof, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense, Sag. All right, let's see what's going on for the last reading. I'm just glad we at least got a different story this time, not like with Scorpio. <laughs> That's like, okay, apparently this is all Scorpios need to know right now, but this has been a really interesting, um, these have been interesting reads. Okay. Sorry, just getting all reacquainted here. Um, oh, you know what? Let me pull some advice. I will pull advice from the spirit animal deck and then I will move on. Sorry. I just realized I didn't I didn't really pull advice for you guys. I mean I gave you advice, but I didn't pull advice. 
Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? One more. Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? I'm definitely going to pull from the book for this because I don't use this deck too often. Wow, we just got a lot of cards. Any advice? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a good deck. I just don't get a chance to use it. And I already feel like we have really good advice on the board, but I got to finish my method for those who know me. Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? Any advice for my Saggies in that situation? Okay. All right, so what cards came out? So we have, I can get these all lined up. Wow. Oh, oh, it feels so good, guys. It feels really good. I love it. Oh, and you got two double digits here. Okay, so first card that came out, we have Buffalo Spirit. Oh, with the number 10, the abundant universe will provide. They're, they're going to avide, avide. Uh, is that even a word? Avide? <laughs> they're going to provide an escape. That's what I'm feeling with this card. They're going to provide an escape for you. I'm not going to read all the descriptions for all of them for time purposes. I mean, really, I can just feel it, what you're supposed to know off of this. Mm. I might pick one that feels really strong, but... Definitely the universe is trying to help you in the situation. They want you to heal. They want you to get out. They want you to have what's best for you. Now we have Snake Spirit, 55. This is indicative of a tower moment, of the tower moment as well. Time to heal. <laughs> Isn't it amazing when these kind of cards, this tower moment, this 55 uh, indication, right? Oh, I think it, I think it just did a second video. Okay, anyway. It does that. It's so stupid because it keeps recording. It just starts a separate video. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Then we have Skunk. Skunk Spirit. I know. It's kind of funny, right? 54, know your worth. 54 breaks down to nine. That's about sacrifice. This is saying stop sacrificing. Stop sacrificing your worth for others. Know your worth. Know what you need in a relationship and know what's too much to tolerate. Then we have 33. Divine is with you, man. Freedom is yours, and the divine is giving it to you. Once you heal and you you fill yourself up with that self-love and confidence, you can have that complete freedom. And you're going to feel free once you realize you don't have to do that much work anymore. You're going to feel free, and it is going to bring you a sigh of relief, even if you got to cry. Even if you got to cry to let it go. Overall energy, we have turkey spirit. <laughs> I know these are kind of cute, right? Turkey spirit with the number 61. Give with gratitude and grace. So it's saying have grace for this process as well, because it, it's going to be very painful. Some people might feel the need to be a little vindictive. Have grace and gratitude that the divine is helping you just get out. The divine's helping you get out and find your own happiness, okay? Um, I want to look at the skunk spirit. I really felt really strongly about that one. Where's the book? Is this it? Oh, no, no. There it is. There's so many books. <laughs> okay, 54. Okay. 54, skunk spirit, know your worth. What do you value? What do you believe in? Is your best, most authentic self on display? Skunk spirit comes as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Know your worth. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high, knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. But who you are and if your reputation precedes you, good. You have much to be proud of. A skunk spirit wants you to be your best self, the true you. Not everyone will appreciate you. Many people People have issues of their own to address and you may trigger something in them but if so no matter skunk spirit calls you to be fully yourself without apology now is a time for honesty and admitting that something does not sit right with you you deserve the self-respect that comes when you courageously choose to stand up for yourself and speak your truth in love remember who you are and what really matters to you and act with integrity you will be so glad you did you'll be so glad you left this situation okay <laughs> All right, that was that was beautiful actually. That was really nice. That ended on a really nice note. Okay. Moving on to the very last read at oh my god, almost 50 minutes. Sorry guys, I didn't I didn't really mean for this one to be that long. Um I really did it. I'm just going to do my regular method with this one. Any messages for my Saggies? Last reading. Any messages for my Saggies? Maybe a different group of Sagittarius's? 
any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? Oh, how did you get in there? <laughs> One card from a different deck got in there somehow. It's the Ten of Wands from the last reading. Any messages for my Saggies? Okay, that feels pretty good. Wow, King of Pentacles in reverse. It came out once before, but I, it just fell out of my hands. I was like, eh, we'll put it back. It's back out. King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is really selfish. I just got to be honest. That's what I'm feeling. Someone's really selfish. Someone's really materialistic or all about image. Wow. Hierophant just came out. That Those are two Taurus cards. That's some strong ass Taurus energy, okay? Whether you're dealing with a Taurus, you have Taurus in your chart. Any messages for my Saggies? Also, Sag, I just got to say, I have been sensing pregnancy vibes for my Saggies. Um, I don't know why, I just have been. <laughs> just have been. I just get all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Um, so if you don't want kids, you know what to do. If you want them, congratulations. This is the time to try. Any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? Any messages for my Saggies? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be an interesting reading, I can already tell. So, we have five cards out in total, and I already can see two different people on the board. Um, I definitely see your partner. This could be you. For most of you, this is you. But we'll, we'll get into it, guys. Don't worry. Over energy. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Someone, oh. There, wow. There's a lot being pre presented to somebody. It's causing a lot of confusion and chaos for somebody as well. It's like they, they really don't know which way to go. Um, something's caused a lot of confusion in a relationship. It's almost like something has popped up in a relationship and like every single one of these cups has been a new... It's my own damn fault. I didn't have it on Do Not Disturb. My own damn fault. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, it's almost like something or an, an event. An event has come up in a relationship that's like almost sparked like every single one of these cups is representing a new opportunity or a change. Um, there's been a lot of change in this relationship and it's just caused a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. So let's get into it. Uh, the first two cards we have that came out, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy, could also be Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the Hierophant, Taurus energy again, okay? Ugh. But I gotta just be honest, whoever's on this side, they want the right things, but it's all motivated by the wrong things. <laughs> that make sense they they want marriage they want commitment they want a home they want they want to take care of somebody but it's all coming from a very selfish place of image i know i know i know people and then we have a uh, nine of swords and then on this side we have seven of pentacles with the leo card a strength card okay um someone's feeling really confident about um some decisions they've made like almost overly confident but it's funny because in the middle we have Nine of Swords, and I feel like this is a mutual energy. Um, yeah, I feel like this is something that's dividing the two of you, actually. Someone's really cocky over here, like, almost like, yeah, I like I, I know I'm the shit. I know, I, I know. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I told you so. I told you so. I know it was, I told you it was going to work. Why didn't you just believe me? I told you it was going to work. <laughs> like, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. And then on this side, it's like... Someone who's very forceful and a little controlling and, and very much all about what they want. Yeah, all about what they want. Like I said, they, they want a family. They want a commitment of some sort. They are very spiritual as well. Um, but they're very selfish. They're just very selfish and materialistic. It's like whatever they want out of this, it's it's from a selfish materialistic um, urge is like the best way to say that. Um, but let's clarify. Let's look at this King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify 
Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. Yeah, this is definitely your, this is someone you're dealing with. This is not you. This is someone you're dealing with. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse for my Saggies. For some of you, this is about a business deal. Clarify King of Pentacles in reverse. But you guys are both really worried about it. So overall energy is uh, Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. So they've they've had a revelation about something. They've awoke, they've awakened to something. It's like they're woke. <laughs> they're woke now about something specific. Okay, but let's see the cards that came out. So we have Ten of Wands. Ooh, Three of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords. Oh God! And then the Three of Wands. Holy shit! So they're they're waiting for a decision to be made, but. God, there's something really wrong in the past here, okay? It's almost like someone needs to make the decision to kind of lay their burdens down and, like, walk away from the past, let the past go. And this person, this King of Pentacles energy, is waiting for this to happen. But this is about a revelation, so this tells me that this is actually what the King of Pentacles has realized. They've realized that they are the ones who need to let go of the past, and someone's waiting for them to do this, okay? Sorry if that was hard to follow. Um they've awoken and realized that someone's waiting on them to make a decision about something and it's definitely about letting the past go yeah something happened to, to cause a lot of tension between the two of you um let's clarify the hierophant clarify the hierophant for my saggies clarify the hierophant clarify the hierophant and I'm not going to do this in the typical order I do it. I usually do it like consecutive, like from left to right and read the cards that way. I'm going to clarify this side and then I'm going to clarify these two cards and then we'll clarify the middle because I feel like it's dividing the two of you. Okay. Clarify the hair thought. Like I said, some of you, this is a business deal. Some of you, you're, you've worked with this person in the past it didn't go so well, and it's almost like you guys are trying to work together again. That's only for some of you. Most of you, this is about love and relationships. Clarify the hair Clarify the hair Clarify the hair for my Sagittarius's. Clarify the Hierophant. Hold on, we got a peeker. <laughs> Hierophant. <laughs> Clarify the Hierophant. Okay. Overall energy. Queen of Cups. Wow. All right, so Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. There's a lot of love. A lot of love. Like I said, this person, in a love love sense, for the, those that are not dealing with this on a business sense, um... Someone's really ready to receive love. They really want a commitment. They really want a commitment, or at least an agreement of some kind regarding your relationship. All right, so let me lay all these out. Whew. Okay. So like I said, the King of Pentacles energy is the one who's realized that they need to let go of the past, right? Well, this is what's clarifying it. We have the Two of Wands, King of Pentacles again, but upright, that's good. That's good because they've had this awakening already, right? So that's helped them get their heads straight a little bit. Again, Taurus energy could also be a Capricorn Virgo or Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Six of Swords in reverse. So when they're in this position, they're really nurturing and they're really committed. They are like, for all the right reasons, for all the right reasons, they want to take care of a family, but they're at a crossroads. They don't know how to get this commitment, and but they know they can't move away from it. But there, this also is indicative of really poor um, development, like poor progress, okay, towards this commitment. Because they don't know what to do. Like I said, they're at a crossroads. They just don't know how to make it happen. They don't know how to manifest it. And these are the two cards that came out. We have the King of Wands, Leo Energy. It could also be um, Aries or uh, Sagittarius. Um, or it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With Hierophant again, Taurus Energy. We literally With the Hierophant, we literally have the Hierophant, Taurus. Match with the King of Pentacles, Taurus. Hierophant's clarified by King of Pentacles, Taurus, which also has the Hierophant, Taurus. <laughs> a hell of a lot of Taurus energy. I'm like, are there any other Taurus cards? I don't even think so. <laughs> oh, Emperor, but I don't see him yet. Anyway, sorry, bringing it back. 
this tells me that this is a passing energy that in the past that they weren't in a king of pentacles energy they were in a king of wands energy and they were not very committed they weren't committed they they kind of were a little flirtatious a little too charismatic they liked attention too much um and that really kind of distracted them from being committed in the first place but now they realize they want it they want it and they're ready for it and they want it with you now let's look over here. Like I said, I feel a lot of cockiness over here. So maybe they've already presented this to you and you're like, I know, I know I'm the best. I told you so. <laughs> I keep getting, I told you so. Whether you actually say it or not, that's what you're thinking. I told you so. I told you I was a good investment. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for those of you where this is again, a business deal, um, They've awoke, they've awoken to realizing that in the past that they've done some bad things or made some bad choices regarding whatever business that they had with you or whatever business you two had together. They made bad, bad business decisions because it was coming from a very negative, selfish headspace, materialistic headspace, greedy headspace. And now they've realized, okay, we need to do this differently. I can't walk away from this. This is something I know I need to do. I just don't know how to move forward because I know in the past I wasn't very invested in this agreement, in this business, in the way I should have been. And now I'm ready to put in the right amount of work. All right. So let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Well, Seven of Pentacles or the Strength card? Strength card. Strength card. My guys are like Strength card. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Clarifying Strength. For massages clarify strength come on yeah there's a lot of cockiness here wow don't get too up in this person's face okay because like i said in the middle you two are very anxious about all of this okay both of you are deep down so don't get too cocky clarify strength maybe that's why you're being a little cocky because deep down you're a little anxious about it so clarify strength And for those of you where it's a business deal, I think you're dealing with um, a Taurus Leo energy um, or someone who definitely, definitely someone who's got Taurus in their chart. But I do sense a lot of Leo energy here as well, whether that's you or them. There's Leo present. Okay. Clarify strength. Clarify strength. Oof. Clarify strength. Wow. Over energy for strength for this cockiness, this overconfidence, this little bit of control issues as well. I think both of you have control issues. Let me let me just emphasize that. Both of y'all definitely have control issues, but you know, this person over here, the Taurus like person, the one who really fucked up and is awakened more so okay a uh, wheel of fortune all right so forward movement progress the cycle's turning i don't know why i'm getting cycle is turning cycle is turning um things are moving and in a good way and i think that's what's making you cocky as well it's almost like things are moving towards your favor in this situation also making you a little more cocky clarifying it though is the two of cups in reverse a broken connection a fragmented connection it's almost like you're triumphing triumphing is that a word, is that a word? words aren't my forte you're triumphing triumphing over uh this this fragmented connection that you guys have okay um sag i know you won in this but you're acting like you don't maybe some of you don't but most of you do but you're acting like you don't. Be careful with that. You might just get it. You know what I'm saying? You put that out there in the, in the ether, out in the universe, that's exactly what's going to come back your way. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. And then we'll look at the Nine of Swords. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. My Saggies. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Clarify seven of pentacles. Hold on a second. Like, wait, what happened to my deck? I think I got a lot of peekers. One. Is that really it? Let me double check. This deck is a little sticky. <laughs> no, I guess that's it. I would have swore I had more, but okay. So a couple peekers. All right. 
Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Okay, overall energy. Eight of Swords. Wow, so... <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Mm. Oh, that one hurt. So everything you've invested in the past up till this point made you feel very stuck, made you feel very much in your head. Like, did I do the right thing? Did I really invest my time wisely? Why did I do that? Was that the right thing to do? That kind of line of thinking, okay? And that's in the past. You're not feeling this. You're not feeling this right now, but that's definitely how this whole situation in the past made you feel, whether it was business or, or you know, pleasure. <laughs> mm. We got a lot of cards that came out, okay? So let me just lay them out because we got one line here, two lines, and a third line, okay? Eight cards in total. So the first line, to clarify Seven of Pentacles, we have the Virgo card uh, in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Could also be Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries, Leo, Sag. The Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. And then we have Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so you were feeling up in your head about it because someone wasn't working with you. <laughs> Just gotta be honest. Someone wasn't working with you when they, sh when they should have been. They weren't coming forward. They weren't, they weren't putting in the work. They weren't putting in the effort. And it's almost like they were kind of... I know it's not an excuse, but I just kind of feel like they were busy. Um, they were busy trying. They were they were busy with other things in their life. They were they were very distracted. They had a lot of things going on. But in the meantime, you're just really you're trying to release yourself from this. You're trying to release yourself from the past, okay? Because in the past you were very trapped, and you're trying to release yourself of that toxicity of that codependency with this person. And I think you were very successful in doing so. All right. Now we have this line that came out. The sun, Leo energy again, death in reverse, Scorpio energy with the five of pentacles. Okay, so there's a lot of happiness being found in this energy, a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom being found and it's happening through change. Okay, so there, I really feel like there was some financial issues, especially if you guys were dealing with a business, there was major financial loss, financial struggle with this. Um, and I really feel like it's because there was a lack of collaboration. There wasn't a whole lot of balance collaboration in the business okay for lovers you know you probably just had a fight you probably just had a little bit of a rift because someone needed to change their selfish ways just got to be honest and their controlling ways and once that takes place there's there can be total freedom here okay when someone makes the necessary changes happiness can be found for both of you and then we have this seven of pentacles with the four of swords yeah needing to take a break and that's exactly what you did you took a break from it all you invested and you're like shit i'm not getting what i need out of this and i'm doing a hell of a lot more work i'm tired i need a rest i need a rest i need to heal i need to meditate on how to move forward in the situation so while you're healing and meditating this person's having their awakening coming your way you know t wanting to talk about it and it makes you overly confident because you're like oh Oh, really? Now you're aware? Now you're aware of how broken this was, how broken this agreement was with, this, with our business, or how broken our connection was in our in our loving loving relationship? And it's making you very cocky. Just please be careful of that. Now the Nine of Swords, this anxiety. Let's look at how you two are really feeling, despite how you guys are talking to each other. Hold on, sorry, my crystals are getting moved all over the place. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use the Vice Versa deck to clarify this. This anxiety... There's also a lot of fear here, too. It's a lot of fear. Clarify Nine of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords. Aha. That's, ooh, wow. Okay. That's past energy for sure. Oh, it's also a current fear. Clarify Nine of Swords. I know you're like, what? what, what is? I forget sometimes you guys can't actually see it, everything that I see. Uh. Hold on. Itchy. Clarify Nine of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords for my Saggies. Clarify Nine of Swords for my Saggies. Clarify Nine of Swords. Hold on a second. What do we got here? Wow. 
Well, doesn't that just say it all? You guys will see. I promise. Give me a second. <laughs> Let me just get all these lined up. We already have five cards out. Clarify Nine of Swords for my Saggies. Clarify Nine of Swords for my Saggies. Clarify Nine of Swords. All right. Hold on. Okay. Overall energy. Oh. The sun? Again? Wow, more Leo energy, okay? So overall around this anxiety and fear, this is the sun card you guys have. I know, at first I had to double check because I'm like, what card is this? <laughs> so I checked the back and I was like, oh, it's the sun card. But this is the negative side that you guys got, okay? Um, yeah, this is like totally oppressive. <laughs> All this fear and anxiety you guys have, it's, it's making you guys feel very small inside, even though one of you is overly confident. It's really dimming the the, the hope and glory of what can be, okay? You now the first line that came out, two of cups with the three of swords. This is the other side, if you guys are curious. Um, this is definitely a current fear, love or business. There's a connection here. I mean, you guys really, when you guys are in a positive headspace or when things are good, you guys really do see eye to eye and you guys do have a lot of respect for each other. However, in the past, there was a lot of heartbreak here. There was a separation. There was a splitting. There was a disrespect a theme kind of going on and there's fear here that this is just going to happen again and this is a mutual fear this is all very mutual energy both of you are afraid that this is going to crumble again okay and now these three cards king of swords aquarian energy it could also be gemini or libra a lot of air a lot of air energy eight of cups and then we have the ace of uh almost said ace of cups ace of pentacles and this is the other side if you guys are curious now, when the King of Swords in this position, I get worried because this is my narcissist card. This is someone who is very selfish. This is someone who doesn't really play by the rules either. They're very manipulative. They get what they want out of people, whatever they need. Very selfish energy. Um, and then this Eight of Pentacles, this is moving on, but it's moving towards happy, okay? It's moving on towards happy. And Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in business or abundance or stability, but it more so collaboration is involved. You see on this side, it's like it's kind of new ground and not, not much has been done yet. This means that there's been a past here. There's been some foundation building and there's more than one person involved in this new beginning. So this fear is about the person on this side, the Taurus energy, the, the person who is having that wake up call that they need to get rid of the past energy and the past shit that happened. This is the fear that they're just going to leave, that when they're being that when they're asked to be called upon to collaborate and build something again, that they're just going to turn their back and walk away. All right. So this is a fear that my Sag is having. It could always be vice versa, but I feel like that's the Sagittarius on this side. Um, that's the fear that the Sag has. Now, we also have a page of pentacles with the four of pentacles. OK, uh, these are the other sides. If you guys are curious, um, and these are sides that came out. I'm going to have to read for this one. I, I know I've only read it once before and I don't remember what it is. But this is definitely someone who's ready to offer abundance, right? Who's ready to make that offer. Who's also extending friendship. Um, let me go back to this because I just want to reiterate because I know I touched on the business portion. But it goes for love too because you guys already built something at one point in time. And you're and you're really worried they're just going to leave you in the, in the dust again. Um, but let me tap into this four of pentacles. Let me see here. Before I even tell you what I, you know, what it is explicitly, intuitively, I feel like this is about letting go. Like, hey, let's, like, someone's going to come forward and make this offer and say, hey, I just, let's just be friendly again. Let's, let's be cordial again. Let's really make this happen, okay? Let's really put in the effort and let everything go in the past with this Four of Pentacles. Let's let it all go and let's just get to work in the business sense and in the loving sense. Let's let all the past go so we can be more stable, okay? That's what I think it's saying with that Four of Pentacles. But let's double check. Okay. If, you, if all you think about is money or work or worries about money and work, the element of Earth is out of balance in your life as it is for this wizard. Explore how you can bring in waters, love, and beauty, fires, creative action, and airs fresh new ideas. Practicality must be al alchemically blended with dreams, passion, and inspiration. That is how wizards make magic. Yeah, so this is about finding the balance. Like, hey, let's just let's just make it happen. Because this is a magician. This is a wizard here. This is someone who can manifest things. 
let's just do it. Let's forget the past and just make this happen, okay? Both of you are really worried that neither of you are going to say this, but both of you want this, but you're both afraid that neither of you are going to say this to each other. Oh, goodness. What a mess. All right, I know this was really long, guys. I'm sorry. You know, I will time, time stamp it. Don't worry about it. But thank you guys for hanging in there. I know this was a very long one. Um, I hope you guys have a really awesome birthday, Sag. I really appreciate um, all the support I've gotten from you guys and all my new subscribers. Go ahead and check out Patreon and Facebook page if you guys haven't checked that out yet. And I will see you guys later. Happy birthday again. Bye.